Hey everybody, welcome to today's show. Welcome to Avigate Information Highway. I'm your host, Anthony Lurio Duke. And I'm sorry I've been away for so long, but um, I've had some medical issues. Um, I had a third stroke in January, so that's why I've been away for uh, a while from doing my shows. But anyway, I'm back now. And um, welcome to Advocate Information Highway. Again, my, my name is Anthony Lubrio Duke. And we have an interesting topic for today's show in which it is homelessness and migrant crises. Now, there's a lot of different parts to, this, uh, to these issues. Number one, homelessness has been a problem throughout the entire United States for decades. Okay? It's nothing new. It's not a new problem. The difference is it got worse very recently because of the migrant crisis, okay, throughout the United States. And this is uh, partially because of the fact that uh, President Biden did not do his job really good um, uh, when it came to protecting the uh, the borders and um, so until the, like the end of last year or whatever uh, when Title 42 was ending and the new title uh, took over um, he didn't do anything beforehand but now that the new title took over um, and there's new rules that, you know new rules and stuff things have gotten better along the border in regards to that part but here's the problem with the migrants that already came over, okay, into the United States, overpopulated so many cities and states throughout the United States. And that's why states like Texas and Florida have been shipping a whole lot of migrants up to many other states, especially the Democratic states. And now there is such a uh, migrant crisis throughout the United States. Um, in Republican states and in Democratic states, and that leads into a homelessness problem throughout the United States. So, and that's why um, many places, many cities and states like New York City, New York State, they're be they're uh, begging for federal aid from Congress um, to help deal with the migrant crisis, and. Right now, um, with the chaos, the in-house fighting that's going on with the Republicans in the United States House of Representatives, as far as receiving federal aid money to help deal with the migrant crisis and the homelessness and stuff, um, I don't see I don't see that happening at any time soon. You know. So as far as for that's concerned, but he, and here's the other thing. Now, with regard to the Democrats in Congress, like in the Senate and uh, White House, they really don't want to be sending ICE in to anywhere to do deportations and stuff because of the fact that that would upset their base. You know, so what would really have to be done, and there's really no other choice, and this is sad to say, but it's a harsh truth, is that the Democrats have to go behind closed doors, keeping it hush hush, and agree to just send in ICE to throughout the United States to all these cities and states to have the migrant crisis and to do deportations. It's got to be done. There is no other choice, okay? Because as far as receiving any money for federal aid, that's not going to happen at any time soon because of the in house fighting that the with the Republicans in the United States House of Representatives, okay? So, um, now, yeah, housing uh, has been a problem throughout the United States. Now, with, uh, with regard to the Democratic cities and states, in order to help deal with the migrant crisis and a housing problem, unfortunately, this is going to be a harsh, this is going to be a harsh, it's going to be a harsh truth, what I want to say. 
you, you, you got to stop being a sanctuary city and state. You got to stop. There is no other choice. And if that happens, are there going to be a lot of bleeding heart people and, and bleeding heart agencies and saying, oh, you can't do that, you can't do it? Yeah, they're going to try to take people to court or whatever. But unfortunately, because of the crisis, don't forget, the word crisis, what is the definition of the word crisis? Think about it. Crisis is is this major problem, right? That, uh, and there's really no other choice. So with the term crisis being stipulated by mayors of cities and governors of states, there is no other choice. We've got to stop being sanctuary cities and states, you know, um, until this migrant crisis and the housing and, and homelessness are dealt with. There is no other choice. It's sad to say, but that's no other choice. There is no other choice. And um, so uh, with that being said, you know, because if you stop being sanctuary cities and states, you know, and then say, can't allow any more migrants and that's it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta ship them out. Um, we gotta do deportations and stuff, and that, that is going to help with the housing issue, the homelessness, and the uh, migrants issue. You know, it's going to help with that, and it's, it's a sad thing to say, you know, but it's a harsh truth. We have no other choice. There is no other choice. There's no more room. We don't have endless amount of land and endless amount of uh, um, money and, and stuff like that. We, it's not endless. So we have no other choice. So, um, but like I said, that's a sad thing to say, but it is a harsh truth. You know? And... Like I said, behind closed doors, Democrats are going to have to agree to just send in ICE throughout the United States, the cities and states that have the migrant crisis, and to do deportations. There's no other choice. There is no other choice. You know? And um, are government officials using the migrants as props to get more federal aid? Yeah, duh. How else are we going to have the money to, to, to deal with them? You know, are um, elected officials trying to get the, you know, the federal uh, money as extra money? Like, are they hiding money? Quite possible. There's no facts, but it's quite possible. You know, but um, you know, I, I read an article that said that New York City mayor is trying to use the migrants as props to get federal aid. No kidding. No kidding. How else are we going to have the money to, to help them and stuff? You know, and plus a big part of this problem was created by President Biden when he didn't uh, do his job really protecting the borders until once Title 42 ended and the new title began and you know, yes, the the uh, the situation with the borders are, uh, are you know have improved um, quite a bit, but there's still more work that needs to be done. And you got to remember, there were so many migrants that already crossed over into the United States, and you know, we got to fix this issue. And the only way to deal with it right now is to have ICE come in and to do deportations. There is no other choice. But anyways, I want to remind all my fans out there about the business that my husband and I have together called AWLDNY. The link to there is AWLDNY.com. You guys could check out all the items on there. And I also wanted to remind all my fans out there about my other business, my other website that I have called Advocate Information Highway. And the link to there is AIHNY.com. Again, that is AIHNY.com. You guys could check out all the pages on there. And so with that, Take care, everybody. Bye.